In the following video, I will show you in single steps how I run mask node on a VPS from Contabo.com. First, we order the virtual private server on which the mask node will run later. Contabo offers quite powerful servers for comparatively low costs. Good for our purposes is that we get 32 terabyte outgoing traffic included. Nice. We choose the cheapest offer here, Cloud VPSS. The selected contract period determines how much we pay for the setup fee. Longer period means less setup fee. If our VPS is to be located in a data center outside the European Union, an extra fee will be charged depending on the selected region. After we have selected the desired storage type, we need to decide on the desired operating system for our VPS. I like to use Debian Linux because of its stability especially for server applications. Now choose a secure password for the root account of the server and we are almost done. After we have completed the order of our VPS and finalized the payment, we will receive the email with the access data for the Contabo server management interface. We also find the IP address of our new virtual private server in this email. To connect to our server, we need a terminal emulation. For Windows, this can be for example, the software PuTTY or the PowerShell. Linux and Mac OS already provide an SSH client out of the box. For this tutorial, I will use the standard Linux Mint terminal. Since I have already completely set up my VPS once, I cannot show all the steps for this tutorial on the VPS itself. Therefore, I have prepared a virtual machine with Debian to show you the first steps on a brand new machine. To connect to the server, we choose the following command using root as username and the IP from the Contabo email. Please ignore the extra P parameter for the port. It is only necessary for the demonstration with the virtual machine. With apt update and apt upgrade we update the software on the Debian system. Next, we install sudo with apt install sudo. And screen with apt install screen. We also need unzip, so we install it with apt install unzip. Now we add a new user named mask node. and add it to the sudo group in the second step. In the third step the new user gets a password of course. Now that we have created our new user, we exit the root user with the exit command. For security reasons, it is common practice not to make the root user accessible from outside, so in the next step we will disable the root user for remote access. To do this, we first log in as the newly created user mask node. In the configuration file of the SSH service we set the parameter permit root login to no. Then we restart the SSH service. This will prevent the root user from remotely logging into our server. 
Before this step, make sure that you can already log into your server with a user other than root, who can get root privileges with the sudo command. In the worst case, this is a very good way to lock yourself out of your own server. So be careful here. Now we save the changed config file with Ctrl O and exit the nano editor with Ctrl X. Then we restart the SSH service to activate the new settings. Now we can finally start installing the mask node. For this we download the mask node binaries from github.com. Search on github for mask-project and click on user in the search results. This will show us the github page of the mask project. Now we click on the repository named node and then on releases on the right side. Scroll down a bit and we see the node binaries for Linux, Mac and Windows, as well as the source code. We now copy the download link for the Linux binaries by right-clicking and connect to our server again using Terminal as we learned before. Back on our server we create a subdirectory called Node. Using wget in combination with the download link, we now download the Node files. Then let's unpack the downloaded zip file with the unzip command. The content of the zip file is now unpacked. The zip file is then no longer needed and can be deleted again. The files must now be made executable. For this there is the change mod command which we execute with sudo change mod plus x asterisk for the files in the current directory. For verification we print the content of the current directory again with ls-la. The files are now executable. Nice! To be able to communicate with a blockchain from an app, we now still need a provider for a so-called API endpoint. Alchemy.com, for example, is well suited for our needs. For our purposes, a free Alchemy account is sufficient. So register for a free account, and sign in. In the main view, we can now create a new app via the menu item apps and create app. We choose a name for our new app, as Blockchain Polygon and, for our testing purposes, as Network Mumbai. Our newly created app is now visible in the dashboard. We can now retrieve our API endpoint under the View Key button. We copy our API endpoint for our mask node configuration. Back with the terminal to our VPS. With the ID command we first read the user ID and group ID of our mask node user. We need this in a moment. The mask node can read its configuration from a file when starting. We now create this file using the nano text editor and name it config.toml. The parameter blockchain service URL we just copied a moment ago from alchemy.com in the form of the API endpoint. We're going to paste that in now. Next the IP of the VPS and then the chain we want to use. So the test chain Polygon Mumbai. The parameter clandestine port should be a number between 1024 and 65535. The port number can be freely chosen as long as the port is not already used by other services of the VPS. 
Now one or more open free DNS servers. Log level determines how much status information is written to the log file. We set the parameter neighborhood mode to standard. Scan intervals should perhaps be omitted as a parameter and thus remain at default values. But for this video I decided to set the three time values in seconds for pending payable scan interval, payable scan interval and receivable scan interval. The gas price is the amount of GUI you will pay per unit of gas used in a transaction. Default is 1. The parameter real user consists of user ID, group ID and home directory. Now to the neighbors. To connect to the mask network we need one or more mask node IDs. We currently get these from the Discord group for beta testers. We save our config.toml with Ctrl O and exit the nano editor with Ctrl X. There are many more parameters you can set besides the default values. You can get an overview of the parameters by starting the mask node once with the optional parameter help. Like this. Dot slash mask node. Space. Dash dash help. Now we start our node for the first time. However, even though we have set the neighborhood mode to standard in our config file, we start at once in zero hop mode. We do this because we only start the node to set the database password and generate a new wallet. We don't need to connect to the mask network for that. Therefore, only for this purpose, the zero hop mode. To send commands to the mask node we now open a second terminal and connect to our VPS again. There we start the mask tool in the node folder via dot slash mask. So now we have two programs running, each in its own terminal. The mask node and the mask tool. The mask tool has a number of subcommands, of which we now need two. First we set the database password with the set password command. You can check if you have the right password with the check password command. Second, we generate a set of new wallets with the generate wallets command. We copy the seed phrase, private keys and wallet addresses for later use. Secure the seed phrase and private keys so that only you have access to them. Now we exit the mask tool and the mask node with control C. Since we have now set the database password, we edit the configuration file config.toml for the mask node again and add the parameter db password. Now the time has finally come. We start the mask node. This time with the standard neighborhood mode. So we connect to the mask network for the first time. sudo dot slash mask node space dash dash data directory space the data directory path space dash dash config file space the path to our config dot toml file and go isn't it great to be part of the mask network now 27 nodes in this small test network beautiful But now we have done it, right? Not entirely. If we have started the node via the terminal and the terminal closes or our terminal connection breaks, the running process, that is MOS node, is killed on the VPS side. But we want our node to run around the clock, correct? To solve this problem we now use the program called Screen. Screen is a window manager with which it is possible to open several windows within a terminal session. Even if the connection to our server is lost, the windows we open with screen remain active and if we start our mask node within a screen window, it runs independent of an active terminal connection. So now there is no mask node running and we start a new named screen window, like this, screen-s, mask. With this we have created a new screen window and we are connected to it. 
With Screen Dash List, we can display a list of the active screen windows. With the keys Ctrl, A, and D afterwards, we can detach ourselves from a window. With Screen Dash, R, Mask, we can connect back to our previously created window. With the keys Ctrl, A, and K afterwards, we kill the window finally. So now for the last time. With Screen, Dash, Capital S, Mask, we open a new screen window called Mask. In this new window we start our mask node again. As soon as the mask node is started, we can detach from the screen window again with Ctrl, A and D. The mask node continues to run in the background in the still active screen window. For the mask node to work properly, it should run continuously for as long as possible. A fast data connection and stable long runtime favors our node in the mesh network. Have fun with your mask node and thanks for supporting a censorship-free internet.